hapa ya wanahabari ningependa niseme yafuatayo ya kwamba wakati wa kampeni mheshimiwa William Samoei Arap Ruto aliweza kutembea nchi nzima he is the only presidential candidate who was able to convene economic forum in every single county of this republic mheshimiwa William Ruto alizunguka Kenya nzima akiketi na wananchi kwenye vikao ambavyo vilijulikana kama economic forum ambapo wananchi walisema jinsi ambavyo wangependa kuona uchumi wetu ukiimarishwa stemming out of those sittings the president also held sector forums where he was able to sit with the women with the youth people living with disabilities marginalized communities and stemming out of the economic forums and the sector forums we were able as the Kenya Kwanza government to sign performance charters with Kenyans ati mheshimiwa rais aliweza kutia kidole mikataba 46 47 kutoka kwa kila county zile ambazo zilikuwa zinajulikana kama county charters over and above that mheshimiwa rais akatia kidole sector charters ambapo aliweka mkataba na wakina mama wa nchi hii vijana wa nchi hii wale mavu wa nchi hii na sekta zinginezo out of these charters Kenya kwanza was able to formulate a manifesto this manifesto has been distilled into the Kenya kwanza work plan so what the government of Kenya kwanza is executing for the first time is not a manifesto that was manufactured in an air conditioned carpeted room in Nairobi these are charters that were signed with the people of Kenya na hiyo ndio ambayo mheshimiwa rais anatimiza hivi leo ili aweze kutimiza katiba inatuambia kwamba rais lazima awe na baraza la mawaziri na hiyo ndio inaitwa executive and so that we can have checks and balances there is what is called division of powers and responsibilities the 13th parliament has taken upon itself to take up the role of oversight very seriously and being led by our president and in their own motion the kenyan parliament invoking article 143 has decided to amend our standing orders so that we are able to invite ministers into parliament for this role of oversight so that they can answer to the people's representatives in parliament and the 13th parliament is sounding a warning on two critical issues one there shall be no tolerance for corruption in government any minister who shall have any allegations of corruption will have to carry their own cross it does not matter whether they are Kenya Kwanza or whatever else they are we as Kenya Kwanza MPs are first members of parliament representing our constituencies and as such we shall be vetting our ministers according to the roles we are given of oversight as members of parliament jambo la pili we shall not entertain the pompous display of arrogance by members of the cabinet and as such members of cabinet shall be appearing before parliament to answer on the roles that have been delegated to them by his excellency the president so that we are able to meet the promises that we made through the charters through our manifesto and through the Kenya Kwanza action plan ati kwamba bunge hili la awamu ya 13 litakuwa makini zaidi kwa hawa mawaziri kwa mambo mawili jambo la kwanza ni ufisadi waziri yeyote ambaye atapatikana na tetesi za ufisadi ataubeba msalaba wake na wa kwanza kumweka kwenye msalaba watakuwa ni wajumbe wa Kenya kwanza hatutasubiri 
ati kwamba wajumbe wa upinzani ndio watakuwa wanaelekeza kidole kwa mawaziri wa zembe ama wa mawaziri wa fisadi ya pili ni kwenye utendakazi hawa wajumbe wa Kenya kwanza wamechaguliwa mashinani kama wawakilishi wa wananchi kutoka kule mashinani na watafanya kazi yao ya oversight bila kujali kama ule mwelewe waziri ni wa Kenya kwanza ama ni wanjia ingine kwa hivyo ili kumsaidia mheshimiwa rais atekeleze majukumu yake hili bunge la 13 litafanya wajibu wake wa oversight kwa njia ambayo inafaa wananchi tuko na vikundi 